What's up, guy and girl players of World of Warcraft? Taro here, bringing you day 13 of my Lobby Gold Making series. For more free WoW guides, check out my website at tarowowguides.com. Hey everyone, it's day 13, and if you remember from day 12, we were up to just over 26,000 gold on our Lobby. The first thing I'm going to do today is of course check for undercuts and get anything off the auction house that's been undercut and get it back up on the auction house making sure that I'm the cheapest one. It's 8 in the morning and looks like I racked in a little over 7,000 gold. Not bad for an overnight run. The first thing I want to do is list the easiest things possible which is my gems. So of course I'll be using my uh, auction profit master and again make sure you use trade skill master since it is the one that actually gets updated. Next, I'm going to do a quick scan of the auction house and then check and see if there's anything that I can vendor. Looks like there's a ton of stuff, so I'm going to throw out some bids and hopefully I'll get it. Like I said in a previous day though, say you're, you know, you're bidding on 100 items or 50 items, whatever, expect that you're probably only going to get about 5 to 10 of them. No big deal though, it is worth the time. Next thing I'm going to do is check some resale, see if there's any epics, rares, or just random stuff that I can buy and resell for a lot more. Looks like I found an 8 of the wins, uh, definitely put a bid out on that and check some other items and see if I can grab those up. Since it is the 27th of the month and I know the Dark Moon Fair is coming soon, I'm specifically looking at cards a lot. I definitely want to make sure that I'm prepared for when that rolls around. So a lot of people ask me, they're like, how do you decide on what items to buy and what items not to buy? Well, sometimes that can be a difficult choice, but typically when you're looking at a bunch of items, for instance, I mean, you can tell or at least get a general idea of um, you know what's going to sell for more. Like if you know that cards are typically selling for 500 gold, well buying a stack of 7 for 400 gold, you're definitely going to be making out. Another thing you can look at, let's say with um, these waves cards. So I can see that most of the cards are going for, you know, 8, 900, and, you know, and they can go up to like 3000 for each card. Now I know that from past experience, but even if you didn't, you could see that the prices of the other cards are pretty high. Now if you only have one card available and it's 500 gold and you know you can take that and relist it for a lot more, then you know, you're definitely going to be making some profit. Other than that, a lot of things simple math, like especially when it does come to these decks. I mean, if you add up all the cards and you see that the cards are cheaper than, you know, what the deck will sell for, then you know you're going to be making some gold. Especially if you can list that deck as being the only person. That means you can pretty much set the price. Now you don't want to set the price too high because nobody's going to buy it. To find out what kind of price that people are paying, either from past experience or from seeing other people sell stuff. You know, if you see something on the auction house and then you don't see it anymore, you can kind of guess that somebody probably paid that amount. Next time that you find that item, you can either, you know, put it up for the same amount or a little bit more and hope to get it sold. Now I've logged out and logged back in. It's, um, I think it's around like 2 o'clock, somewhere around there. Uh, just another time when I'm going to check undercuts, get everything off the auction house and relist anything that I can. I'm definitely going to be checking undercuts on big ticket items because those are the ones that I want to sell the most. I already am up to a few decks, um, I did sell one last night, but the thing is like I, I kind of don't expect to sell too many right now, but over the next week or so all those are going to be sold no problem. I also find some Volatile Earth that's pretty cheap. Uh, two gold and something, so I'm gonna buy those out and try to relist everything for more. Not today, on a you know different day. I also check Volatile Life. Um, don't see that I can make too much gold off of it, so I'll just leave those in my inventory for now and worry about them at a later time. Since I hadn't checked since this morning, I'll check the vendor items once again, and then also I'll go over into the uh, stuff I can resell and see if there's anything that's changed. Sometimes it changes throughout the day, sometimes nothing changes at all. But it is best to check when you're on because it only takes, you know, a few minutes and if you do find something that's worthwhile, you know, that few minutes can pay you quite a lot of money. I log off once again, I'm back in around 6.30 uh, that evening and I'm gonna do what I'm always doing, checking for undercuts, get everything off the auction house and get it back listed up. I didn't find too much to change so I hopped back offline, came back again at 7.40 something. This is definitely the time, like I always say, when I want to have every item up and I want to make sure that I'm the cheapest, especially on gems. If I have any gems, I want those up around that, you know, 6.30 to 10.30 time frame. That way I'm getting all the raiders before they raid and after they raid. So they got that new gear, they need a gem, or, 
you know, before they go out, they need to make sure that they have all the right gems for whatever encounter that they're gonna be doing that night. It's also a time when a lot of people get off work or they get home from school or finish with their homework or what have you. So I'm pretty much done for today and the last thing I do want to show you is the character total. If you remember how I said in the beginning of the video, day 12 was around 26,000. Now we're up to a whopping 37,000. So in one day, you know, it changed by almost 11,000 gold, which is pretty sick. So. Oh, and just a quick thing before I wrap this up, one thing I wanted to show you is if you remember in the morning that um, we bought six of waves for, I think, what, 598, and then look at that. So sold it for over 1400 gold the same day, not but, you know, 12 hours later, which is awesome. So you can kind of look for that, uh, especially when it's a single card up for cheap, and you know that the other cards are selling for a lot more, you can definitely make some profit right there. All right, so that's it for day 13, and I'll see you for day 14. If you haven't yet, please subscribe and visit tarwildguides.com for more free wild guides and news. Thanks for watching. Now go get rich on your logo.